In this video, we'll look at the nav tag and we'll also style it with CSS. The nav tag is part of a category known as semantic elements. These elements, much like the generic div container, encapsulate content. However, semantic elements go a step further by providing context and meaning to the enclosed information. The nav tag specifically houses navigation links. This explicit definition enhances the content's clarity, allowing search engines and assistive tools to comprehend its function more effectively. Additionally, it simplifies the HTML code, aiding developers in its interpretation and maintenance. If you're interested, I have another video that uses these semantic tags to construct this sample news web page. A companion video styles it with CSS. You can find links to them in the video description. So how are nav elements used? The nav element is meant for major blocks of navigation links. Therefore, not all links should be contained in a nav element. A common use for the nav element is the main navigation menu, typically found at the top of a web page. This sample represents a top of the page navigation menu. So let's style it with CSS. We'll start by changing the background color of the nav element. Then we'll add some styles to the anchor tags. This will display them as block level elements and float them to the left. This centers the text and this removes the underline. Since the padding values are set to 16 pixels, the text extends beyond the boundaries of the nav tag. To make the nav tag expand to the size of the text plus its padding, we'll set the navigation overflow property to hidden. Then to see the text better, we'll change its color. Lastly, we'll add some styles that will change the background and text colors when the cursor hovers over an anchor element. And there you have it. The nav element allows us to cluster key navigation links, fostering an orderly web environment. Coupled with CSS, it empowers us to craft web pages that are not only aesthetically pleasing but also logically organized. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.